That's the Juneteenth holiday commemorating the end of slavery in the U.S. with celebrations across the country this weekend. And to tell us about the meaning of the holiday and how we can celebrate right here in Honolulu, we have Amy Benson, founder of Afro Aloha, and visual artist April Lawrence. Welcome, ladies. Hello. Hey, good, hey, morning. Morning. good morning. Thanks for having us. Let's yes. start with the meaning of the holiday. A lot of people may not really know what it's about, so tell us. Yeah, so uh, June 19th is a combination of the word June and 19th. Um, in 1865 in Galveston, Texas, uh, enslaved people learned of their freedom that day. But as we know, moving forward, there were a lot of uh, barriers that they would face ahead. So we say free-ish since 1865. And your group uh, celebrates every year. Tell us about what's happening. We do. So we do two activations. One is called Blackest Art, which is today um, at Work Play in, Honol um, in Honolulu from 12 to 5. And it's a mashup of a variety of different artists, everything from poetry to opera to visual artists. Um, speaking of, we have our <laughs> digital, uh, digital storyteller here, April Lawrence. Um, and then the second event is on Sunday, June. 18th at Sweetland Farms, and that's our annual Juneteenth cookout, which is like a family reunion, and we have that every year. That was really exciting. Okay, well, uh, April, tell us about how, how your work is a part of expression for this holiday. Well, I'm actually a visual storyteller, and I love trying to tell stories through emotions and expressions, and I love, I'm definitely a people person, I love people in general. Yeah, so definitely it's right up my alley. Mm -hmm. And this is at work play today. Today, yes. yes. So today. What will you be doing? Definitely photographing the event. Um, I'm very excited for it. It's gonna, I'm super excited to see what type of new photography that I'm going to venture into today, especially with the nice outfits that people are going to be wearing. The, the artist is going to be on, on the stage today, so I'm super excited about it. Mm -hmm. And of course, we also know that there's a Freedom Day event in Aiea at Blaisdell Park. Yeah, we're actually headed over there uh, when we leave here. <laughs> so the NAACP is hosting their Freedom Day um, at Neil Blazer Park. I believe it begins at 10 a.m., but we'll be there early uh, to, to support. And all of this stuff is definitely open to the public. Absolutely, absolutely. Why There's... is it so important to expand it beyond the black and African American communities? Yeah, you know, even within the black and um, black communities, uh, not everyone was familiar with Juneteenth. It really depended on where you grew up. I grew up in the Deep South, and so we did celebrate Juneteenth grow, um, growing up. And so we want to get that information out because it is something that is important to our liberation, our continued uh, fight for liberation. So uh, we want people to be more aware of it. And definitely here in Hawaii, you know, the kingdom actually abolished slavery 13 years before uh, the United States. Such a different vibe here, though, yes. but still important to share it with our local community. Absolutely. Absolutely. We definitely want people to be more aware so we can all work together and be uh, very conscious of, of what's happening here in Hawaii and within this community, this black community here in Hawaii. Well, I appreciate you guys coming in on a Saturday morning to tell us about it. Happy Juneteenth. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you so you. much thank for you. having us. It is it. absolutely <laughs> it's a celebration. Yeah, it's absolutely. Not somber here. <laughs> Thank you no, so much, Lord. Like joy. Thank you. Thank you. We'll have Thank more you. information on our website on those events happening, and again today at Blaisdell Park as well as workplay.